Oh, sub dude, welcome to my video. Now I know you clicked on this Ghost of Tabar update video expecting it to be Ghost of Tabar, right? Well, uh, Rec Room is kind of my domain. Sometimes I cover other VR game updates and stuff like that, and Ghost of Tabar had a new update, a VR game. I'm not gonna go over what Ghost of Tabar is, you probably clicked on this video knowing what that game was, so of course, let's crack into this new update. We had received a new patch notes early this morning saying patch notes version 0.7.3. They had some new features, and these new features include adding new sites, which are EO Tech Flex Mini, EXP S3, and RMR Site. They added a riser on a few sites, which is the RMR Site, the EO Tech Flex Mini when the weapon requires it. Example, the M4. Rework the squad system, fixing several issues, including going offline after a raid. Rework labs on Island of Tabar with new optimized models. Rework matchmaking to prioritize full servers when possible. Rework matchmaking to allow a noob queue where people lower than level 5 match together. They reworked attachments where visible holograms to show where an item can be applied. They improved a player's death ragdoll, not like a jumping cartoon anymore. And lastly, improved reconnection reliability, including trying to reconnect you automatically if possible slash network error. They had some bug and improvements, which they fixed the gliding glitch, fixed an issue where players would get a false message announcing an update, followed by kicking them out of the game, fixed a crash link to social tabs of the main ter terminal, fixed the Rugger MK5 bottom trail, I'm pretty sure that's 5 in Roman numerals, fixed grabbing the backpack while climbing so you can't grab your backpack while grabbing a ladder anymore, fixed being unable to grab items from crates without opening and closing the crate a few times, fixed the shotgun silencer for not fitting in the backpack, fixed the Saiga magazine limited to one unit in the market, fixed textures breaking when setting the the settings too low on PC VR, fixed able to scan and purchase but not receive suppressors you haven't unlocked, and lastly, fix some situation where a player's weapon would not drop after being killed. And lastly in this update they had some map fixes. For Island of Tabar, they fixed collision with a certain rock formation, fixed aggressive cooling slash occlusion around the radio tower, then for Macta Meist Underground they fixed a kill volume that was too easy to trigger, and for Silo they fixed some walls offset, which were visible seams. Now this is our entire you know Ghost of Tabar update, but they did have an announcement saying this. We've changed the location of our backend and sadly we are at the mercy of our internet providers worldwide to update their records. You may not be able to log in or join a server for up to 24 hours. Most should be able to get in within an hour or two though. So in case you guys can't log into Ghost of Tabar with this new update, well you might have to wait a day or at least up to 24 hours, so that kind of sucks. With most of the general VR news that I like to cover and stuff like that, I really don't play the games a whole bunch, so I'm not too, you know, informed, if you will, on the game. Anyways, though, that's pretty much it. Be sure to like the channel, subscribe to the video, and I'll catch you guys inside the next one. Peace!